First off, we wanted to talk about Joe Burrow and the injury that he suffered. We were watching that game uh, on NFL Red Zone, and it was a very gruesome injury with Joe Burrow suffering an ACL injury. You could see in a slow motion that his knee kind of popped, and it did not look promising at all. So Joe Burrow is out for the remainder of the season. What we're going to talk about, though, is what does that mean for the Cincinnati Bengals moving forward, and not just for the Bengals, but also for Joe Burrow's future with the Bengals. So what I mean by that is that he tore his ACL late in the season. Okay, It's late November, almost December, and the fact that he tore it now is not good news. If you were to tear, tear your ACL at all in the NFL season, you'd want it to be more so towards the beginning of the NFL season so that you have a chance to recover and come back fully for the start of the 2021 NFL season. However, this could be a year-long injury. Joe Burrow could sit out until November of next season. So it's almost guaranteed that the Bengals are going to have to come up with a plan for a backup quarterback. And maybe Brandon Allen is that plan. Maybe Ryan Finley is that plan. We don't know. But going into 2021, for the start of it, we presume that Joe Burrow will not be the starting quarterback for week one of 2021. However, we have seen in the past of players that have suffered ACL injuries that just have these Superman recoveries and they're able to just come back and, and, and just be wonderful. We saw it with Adrian Peterson uh, a year removed from his or a year prior to his MVP season. He suffered an ACL injury, came back, was the MVP of the NFL. So it, it's not out of the question. He came back early. It can happen. So Joe Burrow, that could happen depending on his rehab and his recovery process, but it's not likely. So what does that mean for the Cincinnati Bengals, knowing that you're going to be without Joe Burrow? Well, mathematically, you're still alive in the NFL playoff hunt. However, you have little to no chance with the NFL playoffs. Uh, so it, it, it might be just a decision at that point for Zach Taylor and the Bengals front office as well to just bite the bullet and just be like, hey, we know we're not going to make the NFL playoffs. So we're, we're alive, but a lot of stuff has to happen. We have to win out and then other teams have to lose out and it's just almost near impossible for us to make the NFL playoffs. Uh, I'll give you an example. If some of you guys are fantasy football fans, I'll explain my fantasy football uh, journey this season for 2021 or 2020. And that's that if you've been watching this show for week after week, I've been explaining about the injuries that I've been having on my fantasy football team. I drafted Saquon Barkley. I drafted Odell Beckham, Le'Veon Bell, who got fired. I had Debo Samuel. Dallas Goddard was out for a long period of time and, uh, it, it's just been a bad season. And even though mathematically right now, two weeks away from the fantasy playoffs, I'm still alive to make, or I have a chance to make the fantasy playoffs. I know for sure I'm more than likely not going to make it. I have to win out and then other people have to lose. And it's just, uh, I have less than a 1% chance of making the fantasy playoffs. So what, what I decided to do is I decided to make a bunch of trades and I decided to help my team out in preparing, okay, I'm not going to make the playoffs. We have a loser's bracket, and what we can do is if we win more games in the loser's bracket, that helps our chances for a draft pick next season. So I just made some trades. I'm still playing fantasy football. I'm still encouraging and, and, and uh, or being encouraged and, and, and playing well in, in fantasy football and uh, trying to help build my team to be the best it can be so that I can get a next or a, an amazing draft pick next season. And I think that's what the Cincinnati Bengals should do. Just go down that route of preparing for 2021. Not worry about the NFL playoffs this season and just move forward, look ahead to 2021 and come up with our plan and see if Brandon Allen or Ryan Finley can be the replacement for the beginning or the first half of the 2021 season. Next year, will Joe Burrow be back? I don't know. And it might be that he could be fully recovered by October or November. But you got to make a decision at that point. Do you sit him out for the remainder of the season and just look forward to 2022? You could have two rebuilding seasons, and it might not be ideal for the Bengals, who had a, a promising offense, it seemed like, with three great wide receivers and up-and-coming quarterback and a great run game as well with Joe Mixon. You, you just got to work with what you got. And I think for the future and the long sense, it, it might be best for Joe Burrow just to sit out for the whole entire 2021 season. Uh, that was a similar situation to Andrew Luck, where Andrew Luck was expected to be playing 
when he was injured preseason, I believe it was 2017 for that season, we thought he was going to be playing for the Indianapolis Colts. Like, oh yeah, he'll be back in week one. No problem. Then it comes down to week two, week three, week four. Oh no, just give it a couple more weeks, a couple more weeks. Play, place him on short-term IR. Oh, well, that means he's out until week eight at least. And then all of a sudden, he just doesn't play at all, all season long. And he just missed the whole entire 2017 season. That same situation could happen with Joe Burrow. But if you're watching this podcast on YouTube, interact with us. Leave your comments in the chat. Leave your comments down below. What do you think that the the Cincinnati Bengals should be doing with Joe Burrow? What is the smartest move? And what do you believe is going to happen for the Cincinnati Bengals?